What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. For those that are new here, hi, my name is Rochelle and I like to make thrifting and fashion videos along with a little bit of beauty and just sharing my life with you guys over here on my little corner of the internet. For today's video, I thought we would do something a little different on my channel. I'm trying to like expand some of my content, make some content that's just a little bit more like chill and relaxed, hang out with me. I've been doing more vlogs. So hopefully you guys like that. But today I thought it would be fun to kind of go over my Pinterest board while I'm putting on my makeup. Some of you guys have said that you've liked watching me put my makeup on. I always like to talk about fashion and I have a bunch of stuff on my fall Pinterest board. So I figured we just put on a face makeup. I'm not gonna name everything that I'm using because that's not what this video is about. This video is about the inspo that I found on my Pinterest boards and deconstructing, taking apart what I like, what I don't like, how I'd style it, what I like on her, just chatting about fashion. So if you guys want to watch that, then let's get on into it. All right, what's up you guys? I haven't filmed one of these videos in so long. So this is a little rough, that's why. By the way, I redid my hair back to blonde. I had fun with the pink red copper kind of color, but I wanted to go blonde for a little while. I can always redo it, it's really easy. First up is this cutie girl. Basically what I really like about this image is the coat that she has on. Really reminds me of the coat that I recently got from my Halloween video where I found that cool fringe vintage leather Levi's jacket. I was trying to figure out how to style it without looking like overly costumey or like overly western and I think that this image is a really good like idea. Probably not the sandals but just with like some basic boots. I don't know if I would do cowboy boots though because I don't want it to be like overly western looking. So many of these images I feel like I like certain parts of the image and not others but in this one I really like the denim maxi skirt. I love that it has a really big slit in the front like going all the way up the front of the leg. I do like kind of like the cropped black blazer and it looks like the blazer has a raw hem as well which is really interesting it's just like cut off which i feel like is totally achievable i would just probably change out the boots to different boots but other than that i love everything about that have been obsessed with long denim maxi skirts oh my god okay let's talk about this that freaking sweater right there is so cute in my opinion i just absolutely love like the material it looks very fuzzy with all of the different stripes and the stripes are not only like on the chest of the sweater vest but also like around the neck and around the armpit area. I really like it kind of with those orange beat up converse like I think that that's so cute and it's such a realistic outfit. I think sometimes on Pinterest outfit photos can be so like overly polished or just like not really realistic. I feel like the model went and took off those clothes immediately after and they didn't spend the whole day like in that outfit whereas this outfit is such a realistic outfit with like the bag the jeans the beat up orange converse i personally might wear a little like white t-shirt underneath that sweater vest if you guys can hear everett in the background he's in the living room singing well he's not even singing he's just making funny noises i hope you guys can hear him okay this cute image i love the Canadian tuxedo with the two different denims, the denim top and denim skirt. Again, really loving that skirt. That skirt has like a patchwork where the slit is. Honestly, I actually have a vest like this one. I'll show you it right here. Right here, I wore it in a recent video, but you guys, I'm just like so busty. See how hers, hers kind of goes scoops down at the neckline um, to be like low and that's the issue with this one is that it's really up high and it's too small it's like really fitted I mean hers is really fitted as well but like mine is too tight kind of in the bust area that I can't make it look like hers she seems to have like some little boxer girls boxer briefs like poking out above the waistline of the pant and I think that that is really nice looking I just really like that little pop of yellow that she has in the bag and then it's also on the vest. I think that that just is like such a good little attention to detail. So I really, really love that image. Okay, this next one, I don't necessarily love the shoes. I mean, obviously all of these people look great together. There's just like things that I'm like, that doesn't fit my personal style. And if I was to change it for my personal style, this is what I'd change. So I really like the baggy, I think that they're probably Dickies or some sort of like, um, 
maybe even like a men's just trouser in general. Especially love the sleeves, the bolero, whatever we're calling these. I think that one's really cute because it also puts a, do a few different trends together. It's putting the crochet knit, like chunky knit, holy crochet thing in with the bolero or the sleeves. And the moving right along. In one of my other videos, I kind of talked to you guys before thrifting about some of my like recent inspos and I got really sucked into what people are wearing in New York or what people are wearing at New York Fashion Institute and then I also talked about getting sucked into the designer brand R13 and how much I love them and just like the Vogue runway app where I get some inspiration as well. This is definitely an R13 kind of look. They're very like grungy, punky, um, undone looking and I really just love this outfit. I think it'd be fun to recreate some of these outfits too out of stuff in my closet that I already own instead of shopping for them because I can make quite a few of these outfits. I mean, not the same exactly, but you know, kind of like the same vibes. I love that she has the platform shoes on. I absolutely love the kind of like black and white print bottoms. The shirt has like a funky graphic. I'm pretty sure it says, don't touch me with a little rabbit on it, but then the don't is crossed out. So it says, touch me with the rabbit. Um, I absolutely love the sunglasses. That They're kind of like that retro 60s vibes sunglass with the kind of orange lens and especially with her haircut like everything about her just looks like cool girl to me. I also really want to make some R13 dupes like try to dupe some of the stuff or styles that they make because I just oh my goodness I just broke this what in tarnation. I have to do my eyeliner off camera because I can't talk and do my eyeliner there's no way it's gonna look trash so be right back. I feel like I have the most like yellow eyeball these Lumify drops, if you guys don't use these, I get them at like Target, but I think they have them at like Walmart and stuff. They work so well and they're kind of expensive. I think they're like $20 for this little thing, but they will make my eyes so much more white. So if I didn't get good sleep or my eyes are just looking really red, amazing. Okay, this lady is the next person we're going to be talking about. Actually, follow her on TikTok. She's amazing. She lives in New York, again with the New York fashion. They're just elite over there with their fashion, you guys. She is so fabulous. Like, I don't know her her age, but she's obviously like a mature woman. She is just like the way that she styles things, I think is like so age appropriate. She's not like letting her age define like what she's wearing. I think that so often people or we as humans, we just like have a certain thing in our mind that we're supposed to do and it's like oh you get older and you have to start wearing i don't know sometimes i just think that societal societal norms is a whole nother video that we can talk about <laughs> love the way that she just wears things that i don't see a lot of like more mature women in her age range wearing i think she just does it so classy and beautiful and like fun and she looks spectacular all the time. So this outfit is just really cool. She's got the cargos, parachute pants, which are amazing. You guys, if you have TikTok, I swear to God, follow her. I'll try to link the information in the description box down below of her like TikTok account because she's always making like super cool outfit um, videos. Okay, this is a tie skirt and I've been seeing these kind of, I think that it's kind of cute. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Like here's the thing. I think it's really cute. I think it would make a really cute photo or like outfit and unique piece. I don't know how many times I'd wear it though, you know? And sometimes I feel like if I'm gonna put all the effort into like doing a thrift flip, I want it to be on something I'm gonna wear a bunch of times. And I just don't know if I would like, I don't know, maybe I would, I have no idea. This is the next outfit a common theme going on here for a lot of my Pinterest. We're not even going to get through like a third of my Pinterest because my fall board is huge. Really love the oversized baggy long like men's shirt graphic tee. I have a lot of graphic tees but I noticed when trying to make a similar outfit to this is that a lot of mine are actually kind of smaller fitted or like baby tees or just not like huge oversized and I just really like this look of like the really big oversized graphic shirt. I like it with maxi dresses and maxi skirts as well. I love the tennis shoes tie in with her 
shirt. I feel like a black and white print is just a classic. All right, for this photo, I really mostly like her hair and the bolero over the dress. I also really like that it's a deep V dress. So it's like, it does show a little bit of chest and it looks like it's kind of like spaghetti strap. And then the sleeves are covering up. Just tied in with her cute little bun. I could do a similar hairstyle to hers. And I think it just looks like really chic, even though it's an easy hairstyle with the hoops and the cute little leaves over the top. This one, I love the crochet dress that it's a maxi and it all the way, it's like almost, it's, it's almost like a sweater dress and you can kind of see through. I think she's not wearing a slip underneath. I think she's just wearing kind of like maybe shorts or like underwear. It's hard to tell. Blazer over the top. And again, her hair back, kind of like that other girl. Okay, I don't know if I necessarily would wear this outfit myself, but I like it. I think that she looks awesome. I really think it's interesting how she did the corset top over a blazer. Like it not only has a shirt underneath, a long sleeve button down shirt, but it also has a blazer. And then on top, she put the corset. And I think it could make a really cool photo. Like I don't necessarily think that that's, I look crazy. I don't think that that's necessarily like a realistic outfit, but I think that she looks badass for her photo. Again, here is another example of the long maxi dresser skirt with the kind of like men's graphic tee shirt. I like that this one is also paired with chunky boots because I am so into the chunky boots and chunky loafers. So that one is great. I think what I like about this next photo is I really like that she kind of put a more stylish or like fun and fancier coat with just jeans and like a hoodie. And I never think of to do that. I think that I don't play enough with like opposites sometimes. And I like that it's like relaxed mixed with kind of like bougie. Like if I was going to style that coat, I'd probably wear like a dress or something. And I like that she put it with a really relaxed, like sporty looking hoodie. So I could try doing some of that. Okay, this outfit I think I just saved because I liked the graphic of the... I don't know if it's a sweater or a jacket, but it actually kind of reminds me of a sweater that I recently thrifted. I don't think I've hauled it for you guys, so it'll be coming soon. But it kind of has that same kind of like landscape look to it. She just has like a long dress shirt peeking out underneath and boots. Next up, I'm obsessed with this sweater dress. I think it's a sweater dress. I'm not actually sure. Those chunky platform sandal shoes, like I die. I think it's so cute with the shoes. I think that the squiggly pattern is really, really fun. I actually recently saw a really fun squiggly pattern like this at Marshall's and I didn't get it. Now I kind of regret it, but I just think that it's cute. I, I don't know. Like I said, I'm a sucker for black and white prints together because I think that they're timeless and they just always look good. Okay, this girl just looks great with like her oversized waistcoat. I'm also really into those still. If you haven't found one, definitely look in like the men's or little boys sections. And I like that she paired it with the cowboy boots and shorts. Like I said, it's gonna get kind of cold here where I'm living. So these are outfits that might I might not be able to wear in like a few weeks but as of this moment i could probably wear this or something like it these girls are friend friendship goals <laughs> or sister goals i don't know what they are but they are or a couple i'm not sure but they look amazing together but especially the girl on the left is like i'm dead like i love her i think she looks freaking amazing her haircut with the cropped chunky knit with the like little zipper front there and that skirt i have been trying to thrift a maxi leather skirt for so long now it's probably been at least two years if not maybe even more and i think at this point i'm gonna have to start looking just on like poshmark it's not coming to me naturally okay i might have to get it um like from a shop which i normally try not to do with a lot of things if i can if i think i can find it in the thrift but two years later and i still haven't found my maxi my maxi leather skirt even if it was pleather and it didn't look like bad i'd be fine with that it doesn't have to be real leather i mean i'd prefer it clearly but 
it's not coming to me, so I'm sad about that, and let me know if you've seen a good one online, maybe, and I might have to just buy it. <laughs> Who's next? Is this the same girl? This looks like the same girl. Tell me, am I crazy? Maybe it's the haircut. I think it's the same girl. I like that her sweater has a ton of detailing on it. I don't know if I'd pick that out if I was like, if I saw that thrifting, I don't know if I'd necessarily like grab that one, honestly. It with the basket bag, super cute, and just like the ripped jeans. But what really sets it off for me is those chunky shoes. I also see this girl in a ton of like fashion content on online and on TikTok and on like streetwear videos. I think that she maybe works in the fashion industry too. And I see a lot of her photos on like Pinterest in general. She just looks so cool. Like that dress with the jeans. Personally don't know if I could rock the dress with the jean trend that's going on right now, but I think that it looks cool. Like she looks great. I think that like done right it looks nice i feel i feel like that i might feel weird if i was wearing that when i dress i want to feel confident when i'm wearing i don't know i have a feeling that if i wore that i don't know if i would like feel myself or confident in it but when other girls do it and it's done in a certain way i do think it looks really cool and i feel like this lady nailed it with the sheer cutout it has like the little ruffle on the chest it's kind of like vintage looking as well but then she has her like cute little like chanel mules and like sparkly handbag i guess that's not really a fall photo but maybe she could layer like a blazer on top and she would also look cool i love this <laughs> um i really love that her dress looks like it's vintage it almost looks like a vintage like um vintage like tablecloth but like in the best possible way like not in a rude way like I think she looks so sick I love that it has all the tears I think that the tears are really in right now within maxi dresses or like maxi skirts when it has the different tiers and it even has a little bit of like that lace detailing which is just absolutely gorgeous in my opinion okay this girl I've seen on my Pinterest boards for like a few years now and I just think that that freaking duster, I don't know if that's like a vintage robe that she's wearing as a coat or if it's like a duster or what that is. I don't know if it's current or vintage inspired or if it is vintage. I love the multimedia pieces, the patchwork that's been in for a few years. And I like that she paired it with a super wide leg pair of jeans. So like her legs just look so long. And then the little pointy toe coming out of the jeans, like... This girl looks fabulous and I would love that entire outfit and I would rock that outfit for sure. She looks great with aviators. She's like on the phone, she's busy, she's don't bother me and she just looks so chic. This outfit is, uh, it's the sweater. Like I just love the rainbow sweater, the chunky knit. I feel like it's just so casual but cool and like realistic kind of like that like colorful stripes but i am into finding more of them <laughs> what i like about this is that i think it's i don't know if this is a spring photo or a fall photo but i like the colorful kind of like spring colors that are bleeding into the fall i think so traditionally we always just think of fall as being like beiges grays blacks kind of like neutral colors and lately I think that a lot of people have been kind of putting more spring color into their fall and winter wardrobe. And I think that it just makes us happy. Love that her shoelaces and her t-shirt match each other along with a little bit of the orange in the maxi skirt. And then this photo as well. Like she did it, she did that same thing that I'm saying, like big, big top, big bottom. She just did it with a turtleneck sweater. And I could definitely do that. I have a lot of oversized sweaters that I could do with the maxi dress and maxi skirt. It just looks so cozy and comfy yet feminine. And I love that hers again is that kind of like quilting mix print. And then she has it on with like sneakers. That looks so cool to me. I would never put those sneakers with that outfit, but she looks amazing. Let me know if you guys want me to do this for winter styling too if you enjoy this type of video where i'm just like analyzing outfits that inspire me let me know if you guys want me to do this for winter styling too if you enjoy this type of video where i'm just like analyzing outfits that inspire me this 
is so cool. Okay, this woman looks freaking fabulous. I love that she's wearing like this dress that looks like tight and stretchy on her figure. I don't know what it says on her chest. And then like that, it's almost like a puffer corset. Like it almost looks like it's like made out of like a puffer vest, but it's a corset. And I like that the boob, like the chest part, isn't all the way up on the top like you traditionally see it. It's just like the bottom cupping that she put with the strings at the bottom. And they have like little, um, almost like a puffer vest, like the little string ties that can move. And then the utility kind of straps. And then in the reflection, you can kind of see that in the bag it has their utility strap. And I like the juxtaposition of the brown with the orange. Like this girl just looks fabulous in my per personal opinion. And it's just such an interesting outfit. Same theme, different idea. This is also very similar in that it has the checker on the bottom part of it, kind of like the last girl. She had like a checker vibe. I just put that together myself now. And then she has the corset over the top. I think that traditionally you wear a lot of these in like the summertime, but we're layering them up for the fall. Again with the denim maxi, again with the striped sweaters, striped chunky knit. It's a thing, it's a vibe. I also spot some cute little like pink headphones and uh, the Balenciaga bag that everyone's carrying along with her boots are kind of like, they're not white, but they're like a light beige. And I think that those kind of color in cowboy boots is kind of rare. I think that she just looks so good. Okay, here is Zoe Kravitz. I love her. I think that she is like one of the most beautiful women Ever. I also really like her style because she always looks like cool girl. I didn't try too hard, but I have an interesting fashion outfit. I, I don't know who styles her or if she styles herself or what, but she just looks really cool. It's a black slip dress, clearly, and she just has on some like Gucci loafers and a white tee. But she just makes it look so cool, like with her glasses and her braids. I often find her outfits very interesting yet very simple. Like, I think she does things very realistically and simply. She doesn't have, like, a ton going on often. But she does it in such an interesting way that her outfits, like, draw attention to how she puts them together. Which make you just, like, look at, look at it. Another sheer slip dress or, like, nightgown dress even with some cool western boots. And, again, a really big oversized graphic tee, men's tee. Okay, this is also something I think is really cool. Obviously, this girl has a little gaunty gla graphic tee underneath and kind of see popping through but I do really enjoy thin sheer crochet top layer of her dress you guys I don't know if you guys saw but I recently went to the thrift store I put it back because I don't know if I would wear it but I did find a really cool kind of like a lot of crochet dresses have that layer on the top and then they have a lining on the bottom so i feel like you can thrift those and then cut out the lining to give it just the sheer layer that's on the top and i did find one recently that i had this kind of idea in my head about wearing it that way all right should we find one last piece i just she's edgy and fun i like that she has her hair up and like that like not milkmaid but kind of like the braids that you stick up with your hair and then her pants are so oversized and long, they're like too long for her. It looks like she needs to have them hemmed, you know? But it looks cool that you can't see her shoes and it just makes her legs look so long. Realistically, I don't know how good that would work, but it looks cool for the photo. And then underneath her sweater vest, she has a puffy sleeve. I often shy away from like super puffy sleeve stuff sometimes because I feel like, I don't know, not... I don't know, I don't know how to style it, but I'm noticing that they look really good layered under other things, not just by itself. I'm always imagining it by itself, but all these puffy sleeved and like fun colored shirts. Her sweater vest is just like so boxy, but with that print on the front where it looks like it has some sheer pieces tucked one side of the shirt in and the other shirt side of the shirt, the French tuck I think is what they call that. She just looks cool. It looks like she does like pottery. Is she in her pottery studio? Is that her art studio? It looks like she's been working on some pottery in the background. 
let me know if you like this style of video. Let me know if you like me talking over kind of like some of the images that are just giving me inspo when I'm pinning. I've been loving Pinterest. I can make a kind of like more cold weather version of this because I know we're going into, it's kind of the end of fall. We're going to start creeping up on winter here soon, at least where I'm at. It's starting to get chilly. I will also say that I have a ton of saves on my Instagram as well. Not only do I pin things on my Pinterest, but I also save things to boards on Instagram that have to do with all sorts of different categories. Like I have like workout boards and then I have fashion boards and I have hair boards and I have makeup boards and I have book boards and all different things on my Instagram as well. So if that's something you'd like me to discuss, you guys know I can talk. I can talk. So let me know if you like these kind of more unstructured, chill, hang out with me chat videos. All right, you guys. That is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me, watching me put on my makeup while I talk about fashion. I love you guys so much. Oh, comment down below some things that you've been liking, like style-wise, fashion-wise, that you've been into. Let's talk. Let's talk here. Let's talk on Instagram. Let's just chat. I love talking with you guys because you guys are like my homies, you know? I love you guys. Bye.